sorry, Dusty. <laughs> She's close. She's close. Come on, Jesse. Here, I'll move away. <laughs> Hi, boss. You're taking up the whole picture. <laughs> Yeah, those tiny crows, those are QT. He's right behind me. I guess the chickens are over here eating Bill's food, so maybe it's okay if Bill goes and eats the chicken's food. QT, you can come along. I'll give you some. I'll give you some M&Ms. Oh, oh, it's locked. <laughs> okay, okay, gotta go open it. Mr. P, can you open the car? I'll show you what you do. You gotta, you gotta open it and then and then do the auto unlock. Look, look, look. Don't tell Bill. We'll take off with the Durango. <laughs> Big Ear knows what to, he knows what's coming. Bill already knows, oh no. He's figured it out.
Jessie that landed just then. She kind of, she was up here on the shore, and as I was walking, she kind of went over to the wetland, and then she had to get up. Wah! I landed. Good job. Oh, hello, Clover. You like the farm better? I think she likes the farm better. Go through the mud. Hi, ducks. You got some yummy stuff in there? You make it taste look good. It must taste good. <laughs> You ready for some food? A little buttercup. Reese's, how are you? You're looking good. Let's get you some food. Where'd you 
just gonna put this food down at the river. Oh, look at those mallards go. They won't go far. Whoa. Hey, the river looks a little bit higher today. Like about an, a, an inch, maybe two inches. Not much. Um, Autumn, yeah, Autumn's update. So, yeah, his eye was real bothering him yesterday. I, I've put the, the eye stuff on him like three, four times now. It's still bothering him. It's still a little cloudy, but he is doing, he's, he seems a lot more comfortable. He's willing to open it a bit more. Like yesterday, he just wouldn't open it at all. He was kind of fighting me. Today, he's a little bit better. So he still needs more time in the shed, and then we'll take him back out into our chicken-like life. He's getting... But so far, he's headed in the right direction. Let's go down to the river. The ducks, they're just right there. Um, let's see, they're like right there. They're just around the bend. They're just waiting for me to leave and then they're gonna come. So we got the pond ducks and the river ducks now. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I think maybe that's, maybe that's what is hurting Autumn's arm, eye, sorry, er, hurting his eye is just a broken heart. Maybe his heart's just broke. Hi, ducks. Yeah, we have, I think we've resolved our signal issues. It's been, it's been solid. And we're on a on a better quality. I think the qu the quality that I'm getting out of this new encoder is better. Is good. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm kind of starting to run out of ideas on how to make it better.
let's go get water. Such a pretty boy. Yep, that's right. Yeah, I see an Olaf. They spent time at our chicken life. I'm trying to remember if that was last year or two years ago. Oh my. Oh, I feel like it was two years ago. It's all, it all blends together. Two years. That is amazing. <laughs> oh. oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, I heard that, that maybe we got Brody Duck. Tried. If, if she wants to go broody in one of, I mean, what well, ideally would be great is going broody in the hutch if we could do that. It might be a little hard because ducks don't like stay committed on their eggs like chickens do. They'll get up, go do things, come back, leave. Where chickens almost spend 24 7. You almost have to kick them off. In fact, I do sometimes. I'm like, just take a break. You look thin. Get out there and eat something. Drink some water. Hi, Mr. P. You gonna carry the water for me? You want me to show you how to use it? You know how to use the Durango now. You just lift that handle up and the water comes out. But you gotta remember to turn it off or else we're gonna have a big flood. And we'll have two ponds. I don't think Puddles has laid an egg. Not that I know of for, for certain. <laughs> Millie is like one of those. Millie and Miss F, they do the same thing. Beverly a little bit too. Beverly can be that way. <laughs> Kids, not so much. That's the truth. <laughs> Hi, Blondie. 
<laughs> Hi, Rexy, probably. <laughs> You have adjusted well to the farm. You like it. They want their water. <laughs> they just, they like the room service they get here. The coop is so big that they don't even have to leave. They kind of like that part. Green cup. Yes, we do need an angry hissing emote. <laughs> you ready for some noms? Come get them. Selective breakfast memory. I guess it's SBM. He's got the SBM. Causes fever and itching. <laughs> Jasper, hello. Ah, uh, hello, crowbar. Hi, buddy. No, that's no name. That's buddy. That is Fiddler. Wow, his comb. His comb's looking real good there. It's healed up nice. do a hug today. Uh, thank you, Crowbar. That was sweet of you. have you had today? He says he hasn't had any. None. Not even the one he's having now. Uh, I think I think we have confirmed I <laughs> All right, we're going to We're gonna have to take you to the next buffet. Ah, uh, it might. 
might be. It might be, but the snow, the snow today has been melting a little, so maybe not. Hi, Willis. Oh, bud, good to see ya. I know what you want. Let's get it. He's so happy. All right, girls, let's get you some too. Can I do it? Whoa! Uh, two, two chops. I knew they hadn't finished yesterday's. There, that way. Luke, what? Lucy. <laughs> that's, that's, that's usually not like that. Are you eating for three now and that's what's up? Yeah, she's probably, probably. <laughs> Congratulations, Lucy, if that's the case. <laughs> See you in a few months. Hi, Disco. Hi, spicy boys. All right, I think I need to get a little bit more for for scissors. That ought to do it. That should do it. It's kind of hard to tell if they're really pregnant or not as far as a, as a bump goes because they're so fluffy anyways. But I suppose we can just dream. We can say, oh yeah, I can see it. I can see that bump. It's extra big, must be three. And suddenly they will look like they've swallowed beach balls. <laughs> oh, I hope, I hope that's what they look like.
Oh, you do have mud. You do have. We'll just let it be. You can have mud on your feet today. The ultimate in pregnancy test for the sheep would be an ultrasound. So, I the vet might have one if I take if I took him to a vet. Maybe that'd be good. Maybe I should take him to a vet and um, do shots and such. It's about that time of year. So and I don't I don't know what the pre lambing shots are. So I'll just go ask. I'll just go to the vet, uh, give them ultrasounds, and then shoot them with what you need. Ah, okay. Yeah, the vet should know. Guess I better get that on the schedule. Hmm. We could take Willis. I suppose. I suppose we kind of need to. And it's helpful to give them. There's a, there's something that that helps them with, so that they can handle grains better. Remy, you're so sweet. Yeah, I would take them. I think we could do them all in the blue trailer. Now, the thing I might need to get more halters. I have two. Maybe I should maybe I should even like just look into maybe a used um, trailer that has a good proper ramp. I mean, one of the struggles with the blue with my blue trailer is the ramp isn't really built nice for their feet. So there's there's ones that have better loading and and such. A ramp and a top would be nice. <laughs> so I should start looking for that. But worst case, I mean, I've done it before. I've done th three of them in the like that's the the blue trailer is what i use to transport them from the breeder willow winona and willis and then the first time it was the one that i mean i use the same trailer for lucy and ethel so I wouldn't have to, I, I don't think I'd have to keep them separate like the Willis from the girls. If I do, be just like during transportation so Willis doesn't go crazy, maybe, maybe I need to separate them. The vet really isn't that far away either. 
It's pretty close. And it's all, you can get there just all on back roads. So you don't have to go on the freeway or anything. Should we get our guests in? Let's do that seven, eight, nine again. I, I keep, keep liking it. I know I was wrong. But you never know. Seven to nine. Let's do 200 again. We got to do the big one because because I've got my hats are going down. Ah, I'm below 10,000. I feel poor now. <laughs> oh. But here, you can have some Shigo. You can have some of mine. Give. Give. 1,000. Um, Cause you have less than me. Let's see if the bot responds. I think the bot might be broken. <laughs> Hi, Data Furkin. <laughs> yes, Remy. That's right. I mean, Einstein. Einstein, he didn't take it. He didn't take it. Remy, you do have a nice crow. You got snow? How much? How much is it? Did it work? Did it work? Oh, I still have the same. <laughs> oh no, you did that. You did that CM thing. What does CM stand for? We don't know what that is in America. Let's see. Yeah. Ten centimeters. Let's see. That's got to be what, like, like six inches? Is it six inches or is it four? Two inches. <laughs> wow, I was really off. <laughs> oh, did. Wait a minute. We're getting conflicting answers. All right. I trust no one anymore except for Google. How many inches is 10 centimeters? It says 3.973. You were all wrong. 3.973 inches. Well, maybe you might be even more accurate than me because you got the zero one. Google lied to me. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's equals cubic miles. <laughs> See, it's equals cubic miles. 
There we go, cubic miles. I like it. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see what it is. How many? Oh wait, that's that's uh, into chat. I need to ask. I need to ask Google. How many inches in ten cubic meters? No, cubic meters. <laughs> How many inches in 10 cubic miles? <laughs> 2.54 times 10 to the 15. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of inches. I don't want to do your snow. You can have that. I would just wait till spring, till it all melts. That's too much. Compact and mangoes. There we go. <laughs> Compact and mangoes. Now that sounds like a math test right there. Compact and mangoes. One of them great word problems. <laughs> oh, thank you, Miss Jelly Beans. Can you speed it up any? A few weeks, I don't know if I can wait. <laughs> oh, it's like all, like, so many places are getting crazy gold. Like in Texas, they have to like alternate the power. Like there's the demand for power is so high that they have to shut it off in one place so that other and then like rotate the blackout. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. So I guess heaters are more uh, demanding than air conditioners. Zero Fahrenheit to break 96 hours of sub-zero temperatures. That's insane. However do you stay warm in that temperature? I do not know. <laughs> Woo, you don't. <laughs> Cold toes all the time? No! Well, I opted for the not to use the bag because I was like, oh, it's only snowing a little bit right now. And now we're it's picking up and I'm like, oh, do I need to go put that bag on the camera? Oh, nice. No. The toes are the hardest to get warm. That is. That is how it works. Do 
You got some on the lens? I don't see it on the lens. But it is on the mic. It's piling up on the mic. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> this, this is so funny thing. That'll feel so amazingly warm. It'll be like, oh, this is, this is a day I can wear shorts. <laughs> Kids, let's go swimming outside. Shorts and sandals. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, the birds are happy enough. Huh. They do sound happy. There you go. Get it all down. That's good. That's good. Think you hit the 40s next weekend? Yeah, so we get, I think, snow for the next like 72 hours, well, 48 hours, not 72, 48. And then it starts to warm up. But honestly, I mean, this isn't crazy cold. This is doable. This is doable temperature. Ah. <laughs> you got too many sneezes. That must mean we're getting close. We are. So get your guesses in if you haven't. are down to three bites. Three more bites. Three more bites. Swallow, swallow, swallow. Good job. Was that one or two? Are we on two? I think we're on two. I can't remember. <laughs> My mind went blank. I can't. <laughs> I think that was one. I think that was the second bite. Oh, two more. We have two more. That was one. was two. All right, we are very, very, very close. And I think I got to hurry up because the camera's getting a little bit too wet there. I should have put the bag on. I know that last time, though, that I did rent the bag, the, the gimbal it didn't have free, didn't have full motion. And so it was kind of a little bit like, I was like, well, if I can get away with it today, I'll do it. 
And now it's turning, it's shaping up to be a little bit wet. Oh well. It should survive. We don't have many much choice chores left. Sheep and the eggs. Let's check eggs here. Oh, we do have an egg. There's a lucky one in there. That means we're gonna get 11 or 12. So I guess wrong. Smart, Stormy, going inside, that's smart. Uh, the last two days she's like, well, one of them I guess has laid three days in a row. That's right, I think that would be correct. Ready for knobs? Yes? All right. The ducks, you mean the, the quack, quack, quack? Dash ducks. They're just calling out to their friends. Come to the feeder. Come to the feeder. Meet me at the feeder. talking about the raid <laughs> there's that too okay 
We gotta make sure Lucy gets some. Lucy. Lucy, come here. Hey, Winona being pushy. See how Winona will 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 like jump and try to get Willow out of the way. <laughs> Goodness. You're getting too pushy. Okay, here we gotta give we gotta slow you down a little. Come here. Come here. There you go. There you go. You can have a bite. You can have a bite. That's it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Come here. Wow, Lucy let me touch her on the nose. Yeah, that means you get treats. Yeah. They make it so hard, these others. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. There we go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Come here. Come here. Lucy, you get a bunch just for being here. <laughs> Wow, Lucy, good job, that was nice. You let me put you, pet you on the nose. Didn't even run away. All right, you three, we gotta, you gotta get some space. Come here, come here. Be like Lucy and more. Don't be so pushy. <laughs> All right, we're going to give one to Lucy. One more to Lucy. Good job, Lucy. That was courageous today. I know you want more, huh? You would follow and maul me and trample me for more. Oh, well, they are getting bigger. Now, whether that's because of the extra snow that's on them or the the wall, or little babies, I don't know. <laughs> look, at, look at the little, they're like... <laughs> You're making little spots where the snow doesn't let, doesn't fall on the ground. All right, 
Let's go get the eggs for the out of the cottage. The blaster needs to be filled up. That's starting to become a regular now. Set that there to remind me to get it. So, how are you from moving that shed? Hope not too sore. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Wasn't bad at all. The panels, the panels saved me. It was a lot easier to just move it and slide it. That turned what could be very difficult into something that was, wasn't that difficult. got an egg, we'll let her have it. Okay, well, uh, this is the, this is the small, the small egg, so I think that's Aspen's. If we've if we've got things correct, it's Aspen who lays that egg. Yeah, and hopefully they start. No, they're just the one, just the one um, in the cottage. There was two yesterday. on ya. You got the mud on ya. You're right. I do need to go get... Almost forgot these. Go, everybody's under the coop. <laughs> Smart. I like it. Good idea. Or inside. You can go inside. Oh, over the wild ducks. Oh, there's a lot.
Oh. Oh. Okay, didn't like that spot. There we go. It was just tipping over by itself. Keep scared in the wild ducks. Sorry. I promise I won't hurt ya. <laughs> like they will trust me. <laughs> Do you even trust somebody who says, I promise I won't hurt ya? <laughs> it's like, should I be worried? Should I be worried about you? <laughs> you just told me to trust you. Now you make me worried. <laughs> Probably how they feel. <laughs> oh, the snow. <laughs> this camera does not like me. That strange man is trying to give me evidence. Oh no. Oh no. So we've got one from the cottage. We're now two, three, four. Five. Six, seven, eight. I can only have one more and still survive. <laughs> Please, only one. Please, only one. Or none. Or none. But they've actually been laying quite a, quite, quite, quite nicely in this coop. So I don't know. We got nine today. Ah, that's great. This is great. No cheating involved. No cheating. <laughs> and we got somebody helping St. Jude out. Um, see, the message hasn't come yet. I'll get it. I'll get it. Just a sec. Just a sec. I suppose I could also. Um, uh, Natty thinks you might have forgotten to close the coop door. So maybe have a check. Oh, let's go over and check. That's probably the case. Let's go take a look. But we're at nine. That's our count. We'll go over there and then we'll say, then we'll say goodbye. Check the floor of the coop. <laughs> All right, all right. Oh, wow, you got a good eye. You got a marvelous eye. We'll check the floor. Check around the corner. Oh, there you 
Nothing. I don't see any. All right, let's get this door closed. Who ever forgets to close that door? Who is doing that? Ah! <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> that was a big help. <laughs> Thanks so much. Take care, all, everyone. Have a good day. We'll, we're not going to, I mean, the weather, you see the weather. It's probably, um, it would be fun to get out the, to do some bird watching, but I don't have the protection yet for everything. So we're going to have to pass on that. But we have had a good time. We've gotten a little bit wet, only a little. That's good. That's good. I'll take it. Don't need any more. We'll see you at the chickens tonight. Thanks. Bye-bye.